Hi, this is Chris from Magoosh, and today I'm gonna talk about the AWA. If you don't know what this means, that's perfect, because this is a session or a little bit about what are the basics of the AWA. So the basics are this. AWA, first off, stands for Analytical Writing Assessment. It's the very first thing that you're gonna see on the GRE. It is essentially known as the writing section, or more colloquially known as the writing section. It's composed of two essays that are each 30 minutes long, meaning that the time limit is 30 minutes for each essay. The first essay is known as the issue essay, and you'll have, you will have 30 minutes to complete that issue essay. Then you will next see the argument prompt, and you will write an essay, a 30 minute essay, again, is your time limit. And then after that entire hour, you'll actually get to do the GRE proper. So it's super important when we talk about this AWA to actually understand what's going on, to set your expectations, to really figure out what your goals are for this section, because it's a whole hour worth of your time. And if you get really good at it and you become really confident, it's gonna help you on the actual test itself. You're not gonna feel fatigued or stressed out as much. And you're not gonna have one of those like lingering doubt things going on, like, oh gosh, I should have written something better in my essay. Oh, I bet that was bad. And next thing you know, you're bringing that baggage into the actual taking of the test. So that's why we're here today, to really just talk about what's the basics, what's the overview, what should you know about it? And it can help kind of get you prepared, set you on that road for AWA success. But let's go back to that main point again. Like, what are the basics? What are the essays made out of? So first off, the issue. The issue again is 30 minutes long and they ask you an open-ended statement, such as every caller should require that someone works an internship or does a job in the field they hope to work on later in life. Now it's gonna be phrased a little bit more eloquently than that, but that's the gist of it. It's some open-ended topic in which you are supposed to provide an answer in essay form. So you are supposed to provide the support, evidence, of course, a thesis position to begin your essay, and then anywhere from three to five paragraphs, depending on what score you want and how well developed your essay is. The argument is different from the issue because instead of creating your own essay in response to a more or less simple question, the argument prompt is a little bit more involved. It's a whole paragraph in which someone presents their argument and you're supposed to take apart, dissect, analyze, and spot the logical fallacies or the logical flaws in that essay. And so that sounds very different from the issue where the test graders are the ones who are gonna be looking for uh, at your essay and grading it and hopefully not finding too many logical flaws. But the argument is where you get 30 minutes to write an essay that clearly spells out why the argument prompt is weak, why it is not valid, and what these logical fallacies are, and what information the prompt, the argument prompt, would have to have in order to make it more believable. So what else do you need to know about? Well, obviously the score, because that's something we're all interested in knowing when we take a test. So what is the total point value here? Well, it's interesting. This AWA is graded on a scale of zero to six, but each essay is also graded on a scale from zero to six. So you'd think, hey, we add up the scores and then we get a scale out of 12, but that's actually not what happens. Instead of adding the two scores, one from your issue, one from your argument, they add them together and then they take the average and that determines your final score. So let's say you've got a five on the issue and a four on the argument, then you would get a 4.5 on the AWA. Or if you got a three on the argument and a five on the issue, big disparity there, but let's say it happens, then you take the average and you would get a four on the AWA section. And one final tidbit, each essay you get 30 minutes and you, if you finish early, you can't save those minutes. So for instance, you can always start with the issue and if it takes you 20 minutes to finish it and you have 10 minutes left, you cannot carry those 10 minutes over to the argument task. You always get exactly 30 minutes for either the issue or the argument. You can't combine those minutes. And there you have it. Those are the basics, the essentials you need to know for the GRE AWA section. And if you want more things AWA related, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for our AWA playlist.